Hi, this is Tom Saylor, you guys. And I'm the guy that's licensed in Illinois and Indiana. And I'm a broker in two states with multiple listing coverage in two states and all that stuff. I want to talk about something. Right now in the Midwest, rents are going up. You guys know it. And right now, you can buy a property, buy a home, a single-family home, which you're going to occupy. Or are you going to buy small units, uh, two to four units, for example. And if it's a little bit rough, you'll get a two or three K loan or something like that. And you'll qualify and we'll, we'll get the rent roll and you'll add it to your uh, uh, income. You know, it's like owning a duplex and, and uh, the your tenant's helping you buy it. Okay. But here's the thing I've seen. I, I talked to a guy recently. He's... I asked him, what, he's, what is he paying for rent? He says, $1,800. I says, what can you handle? He says, he's paying $1,500 a month for rent, and he can handle up to $1,800. And he has a good job. And he wants to buy a four-bedroom house, and he wants to put his daughter and his wife, disabled wife, in it. Okay? Now, she's probably on disability. We didn't get into it, okay? But here's the problem, and here's why we can't, can't help him. He's buried. We can't help him right now. He's buried with a car payment. He's got a truck, a four by four. That's got a big payment. He says it's almost seven hundred dollars the payment. This is a problem with many millennials. They've got good jobs. They can qualify, but they're buried in debt. Okay, and they're driving the Beamers and the MBs and the Porsches and the fancy, fancy smancy, all kinds of ego type cars. Hey. It just it gets you there and back, okay? You can only drive at 65 or 7 anyway. There's no reason to have some hot Corvette or Mustang. You can't drive at 140 miles an hour on the street, okay? Yeah, it makes you feel good. I get it. I get it. When I first bought my first home, my wife was just pregnant. Her belly was beginning to show. The heat was on me. And I had, a, I had a 530i BMW, and I had two motorcycles that I loved very much, and I had to dump them all to raise 20 grand to, to buy a two-flat in San Francisco. And that started me off. And I, I wasn't rich. It was a, I, was a, I had a good job. I was a sales manager to import car dealership. But I was not rich, okay? I used tenants to lever, lever me up, okay? You guys may have to do that, but if you're buried... If you don't have the, if you can't part with these fancy cars, uh, you won't be able to buy a house. You just can't, you can't qualify for the loan. Remember now, a $500 a month car payment, just $500 takes away, you, could, you can finance $100,000 roughly, roughly uh, of, of mortgage. If you just get rid of the car and go buy a, some beater off of a Facebook Marketplace or something, or, or buy it off a friend, or rent a car temporarily so that you can get, we can get a pre-approval statement so you can get a loan. Buy your car and get a car loan after we get you into the house. Because if you don't get rid of this big car payment, we can't get you qualified. Are you with me? And I know it's hard. I know it feels good. You're putting gas in your... Uh, in your uh, 7 seven Series BMW, and uh, it's making all the young girls moist around you, and, and you're, you've got your, your tie on, and you look like you're a heavy hitter. It's all great. But in reality, you don't have any money. Your kids don't give a rat's ass about this fancy car you drive. You know what they care about? The swing set in the backyard. Get rid of the car payment. Drive a beater. I talk about this on my website, how to get your debt under control so we can get you approved. So it's just the little stuff that's standing between you. The car's going down in value every single hour. If you bought real estate, the real estate is going up in value every single hour. Think on that. Leave something for your family, okay? Please, let me help you. Let me help you get your mind right. I know I'm talking to you like your dad now. I'm probably old enough to be your dad. But listen, I started buying property when I was 29 years old. You guys, you millennials are running a little late now. I want you to get into this. 
now before it's too late. There's people living out of their cars in LA County in California and they have pretty good jobs. If they just moved to the Midwest, they could be owners, but they can't move. Oh, I just love living in LA. Hey, it ain't making it when you're living in your car, all right? Let's do something.